Ahoy! Welcome at Festival Bubbles of the 60 Seconds Lind Film Festival, in which we introduce you every day to some of our most sparkling, most charming, most exciting guests of this year's 2022 festival edition. And when I say sparkling, I think you can take it really literally today because we have a, a big delegation here from a film that is called Lucy Wanted. And as I've been a little bit lazy, I only uh, studied the name of the director, which is Till Endemann, mm -hmm. if I studied it correctly. Absolutely. But I'm counting on you to introduce the rest of the delegation that you brought with you. So please can um, your stars introduce themselves? Yeah, of course. I'll share the micro. Uh, so I'll start uh, with you. My name is Violetta Arnemann. And you're an actor in film? Yeah. A good actor? Yeah, I think. A very think. good, a very good actor. <laughs> Thank you. I, th I think so too. So please uh, share. Hello, I'm Brooklyn and I, I'm Sergio Niesold and I play the part of Tristan. And yeah. Hi, my name is uh, Valerie. I'm 11 e years old. Um, yes, I play in I play Lucy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is important for us to know because Lucy is also yes. in the title of the film. The film yes. is called Lucy Wanted. At least that's the international title. And um, if I was informed correctly, we're having a world premiere here, more or less, or at least a festival premiere. Can you explain uh, where we are at this moment? Um, mm, yes, indeed. It's the world premiere. So we just finished the film and it's going to be screened today and we're thrilled to be here. The um, screening will be later today. Yep, it'll be in uh, one hour from now, I guess. So how are you feeling now? Oh, no, <laughs> no, it's, it's, we're, we're thrilled. It's, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be great. And I'm especially enthusiastic that uh, the three of them, they see the film for the first time. So that's, that's, that's going to be great. You didn't see yourself on the big screen before? No. Well, I saw it on the small screen and you were shining and sparkling. So I'm sure on the big screen, we should be careful that the screen doesn't explode when you come on. Uh, <laughs> the interesting um, thing is just one thing because uh, they introduced themselves. Uh, uh, so uh, Valerie and Violetta, they play the, uh, they both play the part of uh, Lucy. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's kind of a shared role. Maybe it would be helpful if you explained in, let's say, five lines what the story is all about, and that it will also help to understand why we have two main actresses here going by the same name. Well, so the story is about about uh, Lucy. Lucy is like the the best girl uh, you can you can expect uh, on earth. A very good-hearted girl, and uh, she has an ice cream parlor together with her parents. And the ice machine breaks, and everything. And then uh, the ice ice cream parlor and Lucy are kind of the heart of the of the town that we are telling. And as the ice cream machine breaks, everything in the town seems to fall apart. So Lucy decides to do something. And as uh, they don't really have the money to, to do something, she decides to, to, uh, to become a bad person and, and because she wants to rob a bank. So that's her quest. It's not, ne not necessarily bad to rob a bank, or is it? <laughs> well, you can discuss that. But the, no, uh, it, it's definitely bad. But that's the interesting thing or the funny thing about the film, that it's, uh, it's about the, the best girl you ever expect. To, to tr she tries to become bad with the help of Tristan, with, uh, from, from, and uh, in, in a way she manages to, be, to become a bad person, but then she realizes, of course, that it's the wrong way. So it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a tale of good and bad, just flipped around, but telling the, uh, the most important thing that it's important to, um, yeah, to, to, to be a good person. Can I ask you a, a very challenging question, maybe? A philosophical question? Do you believe in good girls and bad girls? And if it's too complicated, you answer me in German. Yeah, I, I think uh, both of them are in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's a very interesting answer. <laughs> what about your um, companion? Yes, I think they're bad girls and good girls. I don't know what I am. <laughs> and yes. That's interesting. And um, maybe Till, you can explain a little they bit are. more about this concept of good and bad. And maybe you can also share if she's good or bad. 
Well, I mean, uh, in, in, in all days, in these days especially, I think it's the most important thing that you have to, to, to decide for yourself huh? if you want to be a good or a bad person. Uh, the good thing about the film, first of all, is that it's a story about good and bad. It's a very cheerful story. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's made for children. They should have a lot of fun in this story. But of course, the, uh, the message of the film is, is very, very basic and, 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 and very uh, eternal. <laughs> it's that you have to make a decision on, on how you want to be, who you want to be, and how you want to behave uh, towards others. And uh, that's the message, uh, always and ever important. Uh, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. Do you think so too? <laughs> But I, I want to yeah. include you as well. Mm -hmm. Who are the coolest to hang out with? The, the good ones or the bad ones? Oh, the bad ones, probably. <laughs> it's, yeah, you can do everything. You can make fun or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's you a, can do all what you want. But the film also shows it's a big pressure on a kid's shoulders to always be good. We all have the right every now and then not to be good, don't we? Mm -hmm. There's uh, ice cream in multiple colors and there's costumes in multiple colors and it looks, in the film, it looks like it's summer every day. Uh, how, how did you work with those colors? That was the plan to be, to be colorful and cheerful in this film, with this film. Uh, we shot in uh, April and May and we really had a tough time, a lot of rainy days, so it was a lot of work and uh, a lot of uh, uh, work for them as well huh, to, to pretend that it's, that, that's, it's, it's a summer, a colorful, cheerful film. I think we managed uh, very, very well, especially them. It was the first film for all three of them and uh, I think they, they managed to, uh, to play their roles of an, uh, yeah, in a fantastic way. If I know one thing about ice cream, then it's that it melts. How was it on the set? <laughs> and why are you laughing? It was like cheese. It's like, yeah, it's not really ice cream. Um, so that, yeah, it was cheese and not so like good like <laughs> real ice cream. But yeah. Yeah, and if I know one thing about cheese, then it is that it can be smelly. <laughs> so was it a smelly set? No, it's um, yes. I, I don't know. <laughs> it was funny because sometimes I forgot to tell uh, if it was the first the first time they they were uh, licking the ice cream. I forgot to tell them that it's not ice cream but cheese. So like the first take was sometimes like, oh my god, and then you could see the eyes that it's it's just uh, it's cheese and not. Uh, but yeah, that was the the way to go. But I kind of like it. <laughs> it was, uh, for me, really tasty. <laughs> that said something about you. Um, now, in every festival that you go, probably people think like, yeah, we have a good idea. We're going to serve them ice cream all the time because that will be fun. You had already ice cream here in Zlin? Not yet. No, we kind of just arrived. So, But let's, let's check out the ice cream parlors here. I think you should. And I also think that the festival should give you some ice cream. Um, since we're so many people, we're running quite easily out of time, but I have one more question for you. There's something you should know about uh, the city, and it's uh, the capital, European capital of shoes. We once had the biggest shoe factory here. Um, so I want to ask you, can you show the camera the shoes you're wearing and tell something about your shoes. Do you have an interesting story about you and shoes? <laughs> Are you wearing the same ones, for instance? Yeah. Show them. Put them on the table, like this. So why are you wearing the same ones? You always do? Always wear the same shoes? No. Uh, she has, like, black shoes, uh, and I have white. Uh, because I like white more than black. Yes, but for the festival, yeah, you want to have the same. Very good choice. Beautiful. Thank Some, you. Do you have uh, something to share about shoes? Uh, no, actually not. I have basically shoes. And <laughs> yeah. Now I'm curious if Till has a shoe story. Now it would be great if I, if I put them on the table and yes. I'm barefoot, right? <laughs> well, these are my shoes. <laughs> Next time I'll ask you about your pants. So. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, no, no big story about shoes. Basically about ice cream. <clears throat> okay, but you already gave us a lot of stories and we're very grateful for that. I hope you'll have a fantastic world premiere this afternoon. I hope everybody will laughing and then everybody will be crying and then everybody will be applauding. And I'm sure that's what's going to happen. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for being here and have a nice time in Zlin. Thank you. Thanks to you.